Life would be so much better if you could do whatever made you most comfortable. For example, lying on a beach would be better than carrying a load of bricks. Or sitting on the couch watching TV, better than working out at the gym. So is going downhill instead of up. All these things sound better, but are they really? In the last video, I introduced you to Ubits. You and the universe are not part of a huge computer, but there are similarities between molecules and computer bits. They both hold information that's changeable, based on the rules of the programmer. More than a computer bit, a molecule is an energy bundle that holds tons of information about its energy states and its internal motion. Also, a moves as a self-contained entity in relationship to other bundles. It's constantly ricocheting off others, producing what appears to be a chaotic mess. The whole of the molecules of your body reflect the state of your mind. Each one reflects a bit of you and is called a U-bit. And your body is composed of a huge number of them. You might ask if you and your U-bits are the same thing. That's a good question for another time. I say whether they are or they are just closely aligned is a great subject for a philosophical discussion. Either way, it doesn't change our understanding of the analogy today. Carrying the metaphor further, the molecules of the universe are bits other than those in your body. Because they are external to you, I'll call them e-bits. Thus, your world is a collection of u-bits and e-bits. The u-bits of your body constantly bounce off each other, causing internal changes, while e-bits cause friction with them at the edges. Over a certain period of time, the sum of altered u-bits and e-bits affecting them adds up to an experience. The more intensely e-bits affect your u-bits, the more memorable the experience. For example, riding to grandma's house in a car minimizes the interactions between u-bits and e-bits. Conversely, the act of walking there fosters increased actions. You may have little recollection of car rides to grandma's house, while your memory of a walk there is vivid. You spend much of your life trying to minimize U-bit and E-bit interactions. You prefer the elevator to the stairs, a faucet instead of a bucket, shoes rather than bare feet, and the car over walking. There are even attempts to minimize their interactions through electronics. It's easier to play golf in your living room with a virtual reality headset as opposed to holding a club and hitting a real ball on the fairway. Maybe it's time for you to embrace e-bits and encourage their activity with your u-bits. This produces more vibrant experiences to learn from. It's possible the whole reason for u-bit to e-bit friction is to learn lessons from this world to apply to the next. Please click the thumbs up icon if you like this video. Also leave your comments and questions below. Until next time, remember humility, thanks, and joy.